right, uh, welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name is Grant. This is a new game in the Leader series from Dan Verson Games. Many of you know uh, that series and have played it and love it. We also love it. We've played, I've played Sherman Leader, Gato Leader, uh, Corsair Leader, and at least a couple of more, but I, I can't remember off the top of my head. So th this is one of their newest ones that just came out a couple of months ago. I haven't gotten around to, to unboxing it. I, I feel embarrassed uh, about that. But yeah, Stuka Leader, the World War II European theater solitaire game. And this is not just about Stukas. You are, you play as the Germans on the East Front and you're using all different types, Fock, Fockwolfs, uh, Heinkels, Messerschmitts. I mean, you, you're using it all. Uh, and the Yunkers 87 Stuka, obviously, it, the namesake of the game. The game is designed by Chuck Siegert. He uh, also did Zero Leader. So this is in the vein of Zero Leader and Corsair Leader. That's kind of the basis uh, for it, but it's a it's a leader series game. You'll also notice off to the left here, uh, DVG was kind enough to provide us with, uh, I believe it's expansion one through seven. Yes, one through seven. I will show you uh, those. I'm not sure I'm going to unbag each and every one of those and go through it, but this is just more content uh, to, to, to play, to play with. Got a little bit of a little bit of a uh, split on the box here. Shipping is sometimes just like that. But let me go ahead and show you. I mean, box is really heavy. Um, if you've ever played any of these leader games, there there will be like 10 counter sheets uh, in here. Yep, here we go. At least 10 counter sheets. So you're going to see a ton of counters, and they're made up of a lot of condition markers, stress markers, planes, bandits, um, Ammo, all kinds of things. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, you're going to use cards as well. So there's a ton of cards in here, over 250 cards. But I, I, I once again, I really like these leader games. They're fun. You can do the, a long campaign, short campaign, and you can play it at your own pace. You set it up and you just play when you can. And I always find them very interesting. But I, I wish you could feel the heft of this box because it, it's really pretty heavy. My guess is that's at least five, five pounds, at least maybe seven. Um, but let's go ahead and open the box up. I also wanted to give a shout out to Dennis Sisson uh, is our contact there. His two sons, I believe, Blake and Colin, wanted to uh, reach out to them and, and say hi to them. I your dad does great work, DVG does good work, and puts some great games out for us to play, and we always, always appreciate that. So the first thing you see here is the uh, rule book. Pretty thick rule book. Most of the time, these rule books are decent. The game really is not overly complex, just going to be honest with you. Once you get the sequence of play, and you'll find on these boards, sequence of play is all laid out. So you, you really just got to follow it. Um, here it talks about the different cards, the different ammos, the counters that you can and can't have, pilot cards, the tactical display that I had mentioned, campaign sheets. So there's multiple campaigns in here. And then here's a look at a bunch of the different counters that are going to be provided. There's just a lot of stuff. One of my favorite things about these leader series games is when you start a campaign, here I'm going to show you, and I'll show you on the sheets, they'll tell you, uh, sorry, where is it? How many points you get to build your, and I'm not seeing it, where the heck is it? A anyway, they're going to tell you how many points you get to build, you can buy your, you know, planes and pilots and different weapons and things, always a great time. And then here is how you're going to win the game. You have to do better, or, you know, score victory points to, to do great. You have to have 13 plus, not always simple. 
But that's the rule book. It kind of fold it over on itself. I, I've never really had a problem with these rule books. Now, some of their others, I'm, I'm going to be honest, we've struggled with, like uh, Warfighter, a little bit. But they've got uh, several, looks like a couple of mounted boards. This is the tactical display. I just hit the camera. I apologize for that. Let me move those expansions out of the way and put the rules over here. There's a lot of stuff in this box, folks. Um, a lot of stuff. So you can see tactical display. This is where you're going to put your aircraft counters as they're going towards targets, a target card. You're going to do pre-approach. You can get fired at by anti-aircraft guns. You can be intercepted by enemy uh, sorties. And you're going to approach and uh, try to attack. You know, if you're using Stukas, you're going to be bombing. If, if you're using others, you're going to do strafing. Uh, but here you can see on the board itself, you've got target deck and event deck. And then there are different kind of secondary objectives there. A supply dump fuel dump, an ambulance, turn markers up there, and then here is the entire sequence of play. Very nice. Um, and, and one of the things that's cool about these leader games is the concept of stress. As your pilots do more and more sorties, they're going to get more and more stress. And once they have a certain amount of stress, they're not going to be as uh, good in the air. I'll show you that as we as we get to it. Uh, one of the things I don't like is that they provide you just one player log sheet and you're supposed to copy this because you don't want to write on this one. This is the only one you have, but there you got a player sheet that you're going to log your campaign, your different pilots. See here on the left, you can see it. It shows your pilots, their skills, their XP, XP's gained, and then uh, different things that they have. You're also going to count the targets that you destroyed and their VP value so that you can um, keep track of your victory points. All right, so you've got quite a few cards here. Let me let me look at these couple of different cards. They're double-sided as well. So these are different cards that are used. This says target card. Uh, this is also a target card. Obviously, if you're in the med, um, you know, attacking convoys, etc. Here's a target card that shows a fairly heavy, this is the city of Stalingrad is my guess. Um, so these aren't necessarily different than these. They're just, oh, thematically, I'm, I'm playing a scenario in the med. I'm going to use that target card. I think that's kind of cool. You can see there's a whole bunch of them. And they're double-sided, right? So you're going to have tons of different missions, and you're going to be able to use those so that's kind of neat. I, I think that's different than what they've done in the past. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of kind of groovy. Um, here, you're going to get the different scenario kind of cards. They are not double-sided. This is called Total War 1936. It says that it's expert, but this is one of the missions or campaigns that you can go after. It's going to tell you what's available going to tell you how to evaluate your performance, and you can do short, medium, and long. So you can pick this one. You don't have to do all of it. You can do a short, medium, or long campaign. So this is the Grand Eastern Campaign, 1940 to 45. It's expert. So that one's going to be tough. Obviously one that we want to play. This is Grand Med, 40 to 45. Here you've got a list of various skills and play aids that are gonna help you hit result and definitions, key terms. Always nice to have these kinds of sheets uh, for players to use when they're playing the game. And then we get back to these campaigns again. This one is the Yagdarbad 1944. This one is Def Defense of the Fatherland in 45. So obviously it's getting, uh, it's gone bad for the Germans. 1945, Operation Be uh, Bodenplatt, Normandy 44, Stalemate in the West. You've got a whole bunch of options here uh, so that your game is never going to be, uh, you, you never have to play the same game twice, frankly. And, and that's a good thing. Remember it said at least 10 counter sheets. Let's go ahead and count these up. And these are full counter sheets. 
four, six, eight. There are 11. So they said at least 10, and there are 11. So these are bogies that you're going to draw out. These are fuel barrels. That's a new mechanic in the operations phase for uh, the Germans. I think that's kind of cool. Um, very nice. You're going to have to worry about fuel. That's why supply dumps and other things, our fuel depots are, are uh, needed. These are the hit markers. So you'll notice like this one says arm wound. So you're going to randomly draw these out when you get shot and you're going to take a, a wound. Some of them are just stress. Stress is a bad thing because you pile those up and then all of a sudden your skills don't work. But you're going to get wounded in the leg, the arm. You're going to have an oil leak, leak, leak a, a scalp wound. Never good because that's going to ultimately end up uh, killing you. Whole bunch of target markers from hangars to boats to radar stations. Here's some of your aircraft counters. These are Heinkels, Zeal counters. Uh, here, here at the bottom, uh, those look like they are things that you might draw out of a, a random pull. And then there are Schnapps markers. If you played Corsair Leader, you had, um, I think it was called Whiskey, if I'm remembering correctly. And I think in Zero Leader, it was Saki. So you, you have those and you can get basically a re-roll. It's just like a, a little fun thing. So these are different types of armaments, different types of bombs, different values, different penetrations. So those are going to be key to you when you're bombing different things. Here's some more examples of uh, those skill type things that you're going to draw out. Whole but drop tanks so you can have extra fuel. Here you have some... Uh, different battle markers and, and then here are here are the the, the uh, these are the bogies right so these are Russian British planes that are gonna fight against you you can see then these are different machine uh, guns and gun emplacements that you're gonna be strafing which is neat a whole bunch of those right that that's a big part of the game. Here's some more of these. You've got different types of aircraft. Very cool. That's one of the best parts is just trying to kind of see the different aircraft and everything that it has. So a whole bunch of these things. You got damage markers for your planes, more ordnance, stress markers. So yeah, lots of, lots of goodies in there. Uh, the, the other thing that they have are these two boards, Stuka Dogfight. So there is a dogfight chart, and then there's a turreted bomber. So you can use these in different missions. That's going to be fun. You have a bunch of markers with dice. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure you really care about that. You do. The game does use 10 siders. These are gray. And then you've got all your cards. So let's go ahead and open at least a couple of these cards so I can show you. These are event cards, and uh, some of them are aircraft. Just trying to get that off. There we go. Lots of content here. And if you've ever played leader games, you you know that, right? You know that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to play this 10 times before I really get into a lot of the different things. So there are a lot of different types of cards. These are events. So these are things that are gonna be pulled off typically at the beginning of a game or when a condition is met, and then bad stuff happens to you. Add plus one to attack rolls against sites and bandits. That's a good thing. Plus two to attack rolls against sites and bandits, it says. Uh, and on the next mission, add plus one to attack rolls against sites and bandits. So a lot of these things, you're going to reduce some stress. Select new newbie, and they're going to suffer five stress. I mean, some of these are really brutal. Gain two uh, SO, which are your points. Uh, or one fuel barrel for each aircraft on this mission. So that's a good thing. Gain five fuel barrels. So not all of them are bad. But you're, you're going to get some of those. Um, here, these are different aircraft. Wow, they've got the rankings in the upper right. So here's a Lieberman. This is a, I think it's a, he's a pilot, right? He's legendary. There's his stats. And then this is how stress affects him. So zero to seven stress, he's okay. He, he's a slow pilot, but... He, he he gets certain modifiers now, so that's plus three to attack, ground targets, plus uh, 
zero to air to air. So that's not who he is. That's not what he's flying necessarily. But when their stress is eight to 13, he's shaken and you can see they're not as good. And that, and that's kind of consistent in all these different pilots. So that the card I grabbed was obviously large bombers. These are Heinkels and Dorniers, but you can see, you get a feel for those cards really nicely laid out. Here's some Stukas, you know, the namesake of the game, just so you can see them. I said 87, I meant 88. I'm a moron. Well, there are 87s. That, that, that's the smaller Stukas. But yeah, those are a look at the different, and look, you've got five other decks of cards that you're going to open. So there's a ton of content, a ton, literally. Um, now, let, let's go ahead and look at a couple. Once again, I'm not going to show you all of these only because it's... So this one is Stuka Leader Eastern Front number one. So this is going to... I'm going to pull that off and keep the plastic bag. I'll recycle that. Let's pull that open. You can see you're going to get a counter sheet with some new counters, new bogeys, new bandits. You're gonna get a couple new missions. So this throws in Barbarossa 41, Stalingrad 42. That might be the one that I end up starting on. Maybe I'll do Barbarossa. And this is Battle of the Dnieper. So there's an example of what you're gonna get. And then you get a pack of cards in this. And it's just more and different varied types of pilots. Not necessarily going to open those or feel like I need to. But you can see, man, here's another Eastern Front number two. Here is a Med number one. There's a Med number two. Just a whole bunch of contents. Spanish Civil War. Look, look at that. That's kind of funky, right? So that's unique. You've got a What If. So these include a lot of the fighter, uh, the, the jets that were in development and near completion. You're going to be able to play as some of those. So that's fun and unique. And then this one, my gosh, the counters just fell out of it. These are aces. So these are going to provide you with different pilots, and you can play the game on a higher skilled uh, level. So that's a mound of content, going to be honest. Probably more than I can ever play if I played this game 50 times. But you got a good look at Stuka Leader from Dan Verson Games. Designed by Chuck Seeger. Great looking game. Good solo game. You're going to have a good time with this. I'm going to have a good time with it. So I really look forward to playing it. I uh, want to get it unpacked. I'm going to not unpack all the expansions just yet. I'm going to, I'm going to start with the base game uh, and then probably go later into some of the other stuff. You know, I got to try at least some of the, some of the advanced items. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed your, this look at the game. Get it still available. These are good value games. They're solitaire games. You can play them at your own pace, your own speed, learn as you go. I would not say overly complex rules, but you're going to have to learn it and get familiar with it. The more you play it, the more you're going to get familiar with it. So there you go. A look at Stuka Leader. Thanks for watching. I've been Grant for the Player's Aid.